Hey there, CJ Math students, and welcome to homework 3.8 discounts. So this is a practice homework. It says find the selling price of each item. So that means I don't want to know what the discount is worth. I want to know how much I'm going to pay at the final register. So a discount of 20% means that I'm going to pay not 100% of the price, but 100 minus 20% of the price, which is 80% of the price. So because I'm paying 80% of the price, I'm going to do 750 times 0.80. When I do this, I'm just going to go ahead and multiply. So I will allow you to use calculators um, and avoid all this long multiplication. When you do this, you should get 6. You should really put it down as 6.00 and understand that that's $6. Okay. Next one. Uh, if the original price of shorts is $34, find the discount. So again, if it, you got a 50% discount, I'm not paying 100% of the price. I'm paying 100 minus 50, which means I'm paying 50% of the price. So I'm doing 34.00 times the decimal of 50%, which is 50.0, uh, sorry, 0 0.50. Um, and basically you're just asking yourself, what's half of 34? And that should be $17. Right. Didn't even need to use a calculator on that one. Number five, it says the microphone uh, costs $100. What's a discount of $35? Again, I'm not paying 100% of price. I'm paying 100 minus 35, which is equal to 65% of the price, right? So 65 of 100 should be very simple. It should be some easy mental math. But again, how you set it up is 100.00 times 65% as a decimal, 0.65. And when you do that math, you should get 65.00, so C, okay? Again, use a calculator uh, if it will help you out. Uh, for those problems uh, and then watch for the big time difference in these following problems. So it says in a clothing store a shirt that sells for $15 is marked 10% off. So here's your discount right here. Discount. Um, what is the discount? What is the sale price of the shirt? So you have two answers here. First you want to figure out what's 10% of, sorry, 10% of $15, and then you want to find um, what the sale price is. So taking that discount and subtracting it from the original price. So for 10% of 15, you're just going to do 15 times 0 0.10. Again, you can use the calculator and say 15 times 0 0.10. That's 1.5, so we know that is $1.50. And so for the sale price, that's just really, you can do this two ways, right? One way, you can say, all right, I'm going to do $15 times, I'm not paying 100%, I'm paying 100 minus 10%, which is 90%, so I can do 15 times 0.90. Or the other way is to say, hey, I know it's $15, so what I'll do is I'll just subtract what I got my discount, which was which was 1.5. Either way, you should, make this, uh, you should get the same answer. So 15 times 0.90 gives you 13.5. Uh, Right? And 15 minus 1.5 should also give you 13.5. So the ending sale price is $13.50, and the discount was $1.50. Right? So again, two ways you can do the sale price. You can either do uh, the, the, the percentage off 100 and multiply it by 15, or if you find what the discount is all by itself, you can then just subtract that from the sale price. I want you to write both ways when you're doing uh, number eight. Number nine, at CVS, a 12 case of cola is labeled get a 20% discount. What is the discount? What is the sale price? So the discount, basically you're asking yourself, what is 20% uh, of 12, right? So that's 12 times 0.20. So here you're just doing this math to find what the discount is uh, worth altogether, and that's $2.40. 2.4 or two dollars and forty cents. So let's write that down there. And now the sale price again. There's two ways you can do this. One way is to say, okay, I'm not paying a hundred percent of the price. I'm paying a hundred minus twenty, which is eighty percent of the price. So I can do twelve times point eighty. Or the second way is to say, hey, I know what the discount's worth. It's worth two dollars and forty cents. So I can say twelve minus two dollars and forty cents. Either way, you should still get the same answer. So 12 times 0.80 gives you 9.6. And then 12 minus 240 also gives you 9.6.
So the sale price is $9.60. You should do whatever way is more comfortable for you, um, but you should be able to do it both ways. Um, and number 11, it says Burt's bike has a bicycle, a $400 bicycle uh, mark that says take 35% discount. What is the sale price of the bicycle? So it only wants the sales price. So you don't have to find uh, exactly what the discount is worth. So again, I'm not paying 100% of the price. I'm paying 100 minus 35, which is 65% of the price. So it's 400 times 0.65. I'm going to do 400 times 0.65, I get $260, right? It makes sense, right? It should be 65%, should be a little bit more than half of 400. Half of 400, 200. So given that we have 260, we know we're a little bit more than half, right? So again, you may use your calculator um, to make this a, a quick uh, uh, math homework for you, but I wanna make sure that you're setting up all the problems correctly, so you must show all this work, right? Call me if you have questions.